Welcome to our video, Japan and the World. The topic for this time is, China's efforts fail to make Fukushima a successful tool in its information war. Its hypocrisy over the Fukushima water release is an example of how China uses a colossal information warfare network to advance its technology-enabled tyranny. I would like to focus on the commentary in Japan Forward, September 7, 2023, by Dr. Monica Chansoria, a senior fellow at the Japan Institute of International Affairs in Tokyo and the author of five books on Asian security. Japan discharged one million ton of treated water from the ruined Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station into the Pacific Ocean. This has become the latest tool for China to begin its propaganda information war campaign against Japan. Beijing has been deftly using the episode to fan up anti-Japanese sentiment within China. However, as it turns out, Beijing has been exposed, yet again, for its duplicitous pretense over wastewater release from its own nuclear plants. China has been accused of releasing water with much higher amounts of tritium, as per scientists. The Chinese nuclear plant in question is Fukqing, situated in the Fujian province. It releases about three times more tritium into the Pacific than the planned Fukushima discharge. Japan, on the other hand, has received the go-ahead for the discharge process from the UN's atomic watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA. In an op-ed published on November 14, 2009, in the Washington Post, Ming Zhou wrote, Information warfare is not just a theology can integrate it into nation-state interests. The use of technology to accomplish both control and disruption of information flow has been referred to by several names. These include information warfare, electronic warfare, cyber war, net war, and information operations. An article by Wei Jin Chung published in the Liberation Army Daily in 1996 described information war, IW, as a new form of people's war. The author stressed the integrity of information systems and underlined their multidimensional, interconnected networks. These are spread on the ground, in air, or outer space, and underwater, as well as terminals, modems, and software not only as instruments but as weapons. Major General Wang Pufeng is widely recognized as the founder of China's information war. In 1997, he was cited defining information war as a product of the information age. To a great extent, it utilizes information technology and information ordnance in battle. It constitutes networkization of the battlefield along with a new model for a complete contest of time and space. At its center, lies the fight to control the information battlefield, and thereby, to influence, or decide, victory or defeat. Besides, for over two decades, China's prominent military journal, China Military Science has been highlighting psychological warfare, PSYOPs, during this time, it has published multiple noteworthy papers on the subject. Xu Hujun wrote the most prominent papers. He was then a major general in the PLA, Army, and president of the Shijiazhuang Academy. Xu wrote, Psychological operations in the context of grand strategy, and, Focus on psychological war against the background of grand strategy, in 2003. In these papers, Xu defined psychological warfare as a kind of propaganda and persuasion, which employs real force as its foundation. According to Xu's definition, political, economic, scientific, military, diplomatic, ideological, and or cultural force could be used. The aim is to influence, change an opponent's national will, belief, or attitude. Xu stressed the need to use power and intimidation as key psychological warfare tools. Besides, in his paper, he recommended, 1. Developing a psychological warfare system that integrates specialized and non-specialized personnel. 
2. Establish a Psychological Warfare Command and Coordination Agency under the unified leadership of the PLA's Central Military Commission and the CCP's Party Committee. 3. Establish several psychological warfare scientific research agencies to guide both civilian and military work. 4. Develop a psychological warfare mentality by educating the masses and military commanders. Lee Day is the deputy chair of the Department of Warfare Theory and Strategic Research at the PLA's Academy of Military Science in Beijing. In 2007, Lee wrote a paper titled, Basic Characteristics of the Modes of Thinking in Informationized Warfare, published in China Military Science. Noting the requisite changes in the mode of thinking, Lee proposed, 1. Changing the mode of thinking as a requirement for ensuring victory in future wars. 2. Strategy and technology are unified for planning purposes. The information superhighway can produce information misdirection, spread the fog of war, interfere with and disrupt the enemy's strategic perceptions. 3. Information deterrence, including counterinformation as new modes of strategic thought to achieve national strategic objectives. As this article explains, China is spreading a colossal web of information, psychological, propaganda warfare. Its object is the global promotion of a, Beijing model, of technology-enabled authoritarianism. The web includes all Chinese state-run and controlled media outlets, all Chinese language media around the world, Beijing's information pipes of 5G networks and undersea cables. It also includes social media platforms like TikTok, WeChat, etc. The information arena is being absorbed as a critical pillar of individual and collective national security. This agenda driven by China needs strong pushback from democracies. That's all. Focusing on the commentary in Japan Forward, September 7, 2023, by Dr. Monica Chansoria, a senior fellow at the Japan Institute of International Affairs in Tokyo and the author of five books on Asian security.